Hey AI art enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about an amazing AI tool that can create fantastic images for you of any style, like from text as well as your reference images. And not only that, it can also help you in video generation as well. Like you can go ahead and create videos from text prompts as well as your already reference videos too. So yeah, I'm talking about Lensco AI, which is a web-based platform that uses artificial intelligence to transform text prompts into visually stunning AI images and videos. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, all the features of Lensco AI, which are text to image generation, image to image generation, and along with that text to video generation and video to video generation. So yeah, we can explore this amazing AI tool. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, you need to go ahead and go to this website, lensco.ai. So this is basically uh, the interface of Lensco. So first of all, uh, you know, we have the features right over here, style transfer, create images, animate videos. So yeah, basically uh, this AI tool provides you text to image generation. Then we have image to image generation. Then it also provides text to video generation and video to video generation. All right. So first of all, let's just go ahead and test out text to image generation. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and go to this create images option right over here. And after that, this is basically uh, the kind of uh, interface for a uh, text to image generation. So first of all, we have credits, uh, then we have the models. So over here, you can see we can go ahead and browse through various models that Lensco provides you. So first of all, we have the core models as real anime. Then the featured models are fantasy scene, ink painting, game house. So we'll be go ahead and testing out all these really quickly to see how capable this AI text to image generation tool is, okay? And then uh, on the left bar, we have the image dimension. So you can uh, choose the aspect ratio of your image that you want, then number of image. So it will provide you the variation for your image. Then we have the text guidance scale. So this uh, option will tell you how much of the guidance you want in your image for your text, okay? Then the negative prompt. So over here, you can go ahead and add negative prompts to your images as well, all right? Okay, so first of all, let's just go ahead and test out uh, the real uh, prime core model of this lens scope. And for that, you don't need to follow any prompt formula or anything, you just need to provide simple prompts because this AI model is smart enough to identify and to see like what you are looking for in your prompt, okay? So uh, for the real model, we're going to go ahead and generate some human portrait. And I'm going to go ahead and simple prompt that a man with a beard and a hat. And the model is going to be real. Image dimension is going to be portrait. Uh, the number of images is 2. Then text guidance skill, we're going to go ahead and do that 13. And the negative prompt, it has basically provided negative prompts by itself. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. And let's just go ahead and start this and see the output for our real human portrait style, OK? All right, so here we go. So now these images for our prompt, a man with a beard and a hat. So yeah, for those, these images look absolutely perfect. Like check out the detail, like check out how much realistic these images look, right? So yeah, uh, now let's just go ahead and test out our second uh, core model, which is anime. And for that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that a school girl with a magical line, okay? And for the image dimension, let's just go ahead and do 16 by nine now. Number of which is going to be the same. Text guide is going to be the same. And negative prompt, it basically provided itself. Okay, so that is really amazing. Let's just generate it and see how our anime is going to look like in Lensco AI. All right, so here we go. Like, check out the results. Wow, these are absolutely beautiful. So a schoolgirl with a magical wand and the anime, like the detail, everything is just to the point. So yeah, you can create very cool animes out of Lensco AI without any problem, all right? Okay, so for the next one, let's just go ahead and test out some of our featured models now. And first of all, we're going to go ahead and, and check out the fantasy scene one. And for that, it basically provides you uh, the options for uh, the guidance scale, like how much you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that 0 0.82. Let's just go for that. Image dimension is going to be 16 by 9 because we're talking about scene. Number of images 2, text guidance scale same. And for the prompt in our image guidance, I'm going to go ahead and say that a castle in the clouds with a ramble bridge, okay? Let's just generate this and see our output, okay? All right, so these are the results for our fantasy scenes. Like, check out the detail into that. Like, we talked about a castle in the clouds with a ramble bridge. So, for that, these uh, images look absolutely perfect, okay? Okay, uh, so for the next uh, feature model of style, let's just go ahead and talk about ink painting style. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in my prompt that 
a tranquil scene of a mountain and a river, okay? And for uh, the text guidance skill, we're gonna go ahead and do 10 this time, and the rest, everything is gonna be the same. Now, let's just go ahead and generate and see the output. All right, so for the ink painting style, this looks absolutely perfect. Like, check out the results, right? Okay, uh, so the next style, let's just go ahead and test out the game house. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that a medieval a tavern with a roaring fireplace. Okay, let's just generate this now. All right, so here we go. We have a game house, a photograph, a medieval tavern with a roaring fireplace. And these images look really, really good for that, okay? Now, let's just go ahead and test out um, the Pixar style. So this is a really exciting style option you can get. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and try like how it's gonna help us in like human pictures, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the di guided skill as 13. Rest, everything's gonna be the same. Let's just generate this and see how our Pixar style is gonna look like, okay? All right, so here we go. These are the images for our Pixar style. Like, check out the result. This is kind of a cartoonish picture, right? So yeah, these results look absolutely terrific, right? All right, so now let's just go ahead and test out the Vintage uh, Comic 1. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that a superhero flying over a cityscape. Okay, let's just generate this now. All right, so for the vintage uh, comic style, like, wow, take a look at these images. A superhero flying over a cityscape. So yeah, uh, for that, these images are really, really good, right? Okay, uh, so for the next style, we're gonna go ahead and test out this Elden Ring style. It looks really, really good to me. And for the prompt, I'm gonna go ahead and say, a knight fighting a giant beast in a dark forest. Okay, this looks a good prompt. Let's just see the art, like how uh, it's gonna perform, okay? All right, so here we go, guys. This is the Elden Ring style. Let's check out the results. So we have a knight fighting a giant beast in a dark forest. So take a look at these images, right? So yeah, Let's Go is a really, really capable tool, you guys. So now let's just go ahead and test out a few of the more uh, designs. I'm gonna go ahead and see what the game mecha does. So uh, for the prong, I'm gonna go ahead and say, a giant robot in a futuristic city. It's very simple, just to see uh, the efficiency of this style, okay? All right, so take a look at the results for our game mega style. Wow, this is absolutely perfect. So a giant robot in a futuristic city. So yeah, uh, these images are really, really good for this style, okay? All right, so now let's just go ahead and test out one more and uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump to our next section. So let's just go ahead and test out this game C and see how it looks, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and say in the prompt like an adventurer discovering a treasure in a dungeon, okay? Let's just see uh, the output for this now, okay? All right, so wow, take a look at the results for the game scene, you guys. This is absolutely brilliant, right? So an adventurer discovering a treasure in a dungeon. So yeah, every minute detail, everything is just to the point, okay? So yeah, here you go, guys. This was the exploration of text to image generation in Let's Go AI. So now, Next, we're gonna go ahead and see how you can go ahead and create image to image generation in LensGo AI, okay? So for that, you need to go ahead and go to this create images option once again. So it's really simple. Here, you can see we have the option to upload our image, right? So yeah, let's just go ahead and try to upload uh, the image of a human portrait. I'm gonna go ahead and do it of myself, which is this one. All right, so it's done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the style that I want to go ahead and change this image into, okay? So let's just say I want to create anime out of this image, all right? So I'm gonna choose anime style. And for the prong, I'm gonna go ahead and write a boy with a magical sword preparing to battle a giant monster. Okay, let's just go ahead and create this and see how our output is gonna look like for this image, okay? All right, wow, so take a look at the image, you guys. So yeah, uh, it has basically converted the image for me into the anime style. We have the monster in the background. So this was a reference image and it has changed that into this. Wow, it is absolutely perfect, right? So now let's go ahead and test this out one more time. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and do it in Pixar style and see like how it's gonna look like. All right, so here we go. So this is uh, the final image for the Pixar style. And the prompt, I told a funny man with an Avenger Mars and glasses on his face uh, is shown in a character poster. And for that, like these images look absolutely perfect for our reference image. So this is how you can go ahead and change for your image to any other style and you can guide to the prompt as well to add more and more description into that, okay? So we have lots of 
other styles so you can go ahead and do that to anyone if you want so yeah this is how you can go ahead and do image to image generation in let's go ai okay all right so now let's just go ahead and test out some video creation so first of all we're going to go ahead and see how let's go performs in text to video generation and for that i'm going to go ahead and go to this animate videos option right over here so this will bring me to the interface for, uh, for creating videos out of let's go ai so we have the same like, you know, the models, so you can go ahead and choose core models or feature models if you want. Then you have the image dimensions. This will basically be the video dimension of your video. So video duration, you want the normal or the longer or and the camera movement. So you can choose between zoom in, zoom out, roll clock. So there are a lot of camera movements you can go ahead and test out, okay? So uh, for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and test out this real prime model. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and select from, from the feature from that are already here. So first of all, let's just say I choose uh, this align roaring on a mountain during the golden hour, creating a cinematic scene. Okay. And uh, for uh, the dimension is going to be 16 by 9. Video duration is going to be normal. And the camera moment, let's just go ahead and do it in zoom in effect. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start this and see like how our output is going to look like. All right, guys, so our video is ready for a line ring on a mountain during a golden hour. And this is how our video looks like. So uh, this is absolutely beautiful. Like check out the result each and everything is just to the point, right? All right, so for the next model, we're going to go ahead and test out some animes, like how you can create anime videos out of this Lensco AI. So uh, for the prompt, I'm going to go ahead and do the same. Select from uh, some of the featured prompts right over here. So I'm going to say... A girl surrounded by flames walking out of the forest, okay? So let's just go ahead and generate this and see how our output is going to look like for anime videos, okay? All right, so take a look at this anime video, right? So the problem was a girl surrounded by flames walking out of the forest, right? So for that, uh, this animated AI video looks absolutely perfect, right? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and test out a few of uh, the style from featured models as well. So I'm very eager to see how the Pixar style is going to perform in text to video generation. And so for the prom, I'm going to go ahead and do the same. So like from the featured ones. So it will be an African man with curly hair and beard. The jacket on close up with gold background. Okay. So let's just go ahead and see the output for this prom now. All right. So check out this Pixar style video of an African man with curly hair and beard with a jacket on. Okay. Uh, this looks uh, quite decent. Like uh, it doesn't look that good but i think it's not bad either so let's go ahead and test out one last time from uh this feature models and i'm really eager to seeing like how the elder ring style is going to perform in video generation and let's go ahead and try from the featured uh, prompts once again so i'm going to go ahead and do a woman with long blonde hair wearing armor and earrings in a blue and gray background with blue eyes okay so yeah everything is going to be the same let's go ahead and create and see how our output is going to look like all right, so take a look at this video of the Elden Ring style, a woman with a long blonde hair wearing armor and earrings in a blue and gray background with blue eyes. So yeah, for that, uh, this video, this animated video looks absolutely perfect, right? Just take a look at this. All right, so this was a uh, text to video generation in Lensco AI. So now we're gonna go ahead and see how you can do video to video generation with Lensco AI. All right, so for video to video generation, you need to go ahead and go to this AI generation column and over here, you'll see the option of animate videos, all right? So you need to click on that. And after that, this is basically the same interface of text to video generation, but now over here, we do get an option to upload video and change style, like do anything you want with that particular video, okay? So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and upload my video over here, which is basically, you know, this video of a female model. So I'm just going to go ahead and style it uh, into different style options that we get in Lensco AI, all right? So I provided my video and in the model, I'm just going to go ahead and first of all, select anime and see how this video is going to change into the anime, all right? And for the prompt, I'm going to go ahead and do like any of the featured prompts. So let's just say I go ahead and select this. A girl surrounded by flames walking out of the forest. Okay. And let's just go ahead and start this and see how our output's going to look like in video to video generation. Okay. All right. So here we go, guys. This is the final result. Like check out this video. All right. So yeah, this was our, our reference video. As you guys can see right over here.
and with Lensco AI and with the anime style, it changed that to this. Like, wow, this looks absolutely perfect for video to video generation, okay? So yeah, uh, this is done. You can go ahead and use video to video generation in Lensco AI. So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of Lensco AI. We talked about text to image generation, image to image generation, as well as in videos, we talk about text to video and video to video generation. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.